see a Ferris wheel right there. I just saw a sign saying San Jacinto Battleground and Battleship Texas next exit to the right. Yeah, those days are over. Battleship Texas is in Galveston right now in dry dock. And we hope to get a glimpse of it. I believe it's Pier 21 where you can uh, see the battleship and the dry dock on the other side. We're about to head over the bridge onto Galveston Islands. Now we're leaving the bridge and basically we enter Galveston Island. And there's already the sign. Galveston Island State Park, next right. Or next exit. And here we are at the ocean. Seawall Boulevard. And the ocean is to the left. All right, thanks. We arrived at Galveston Island State Park. We have site 49. Site is nice, but when we arrived here, we had no electricity for a couple of hours. And yeah, I had to get my solar out and to charge uh, my equipment and stuff. Worked fine, but of course, you can't run the air conditioning. But now power is back up. And we're gonna explore this side of the state park, which is the beach side. The layout here is not that of a typical state park. It's more like that of an RV park. Here, close together, not as close as in an RV park, but still, the layout is similar. There are two sides of the state park, the beach side and the bay side. I'm also gonna be on the bay side for one day since the beach side is always booked. It's hard to find a place here. Well, that's a cute little escape. I was looking into those too after my A liner since some of those even have a small, tiny bathroom. And those are tent pads over there, wooden platforms. That's nice. Now I believe right here that this is the bathhouse. Everything has been fairly newly built. Yes, this is the bathhouse. That's the uh, women's side. They got water dispensers here. And this is the man's side right here. Oh, that looks nice. Absolutely nice. Yeah. Brand new. Three showers. Nice bathroom. So from the bathhouse, there's direct beach access. I wonder how Delta is gonna react. She has never been to the beach. She has never seen the ocean. So that's all gonna be a first. can't believe that I'm out here with Delta. The things that we have done together already, it's, it's awesome. 
think I could take my chair down here and sit here. I mean, it's not even five minutes from my Site 49. And I'm the furthest away from the beach. But this is awesome. Look at this. We're at the beach, Teta. <laughs> She's like, what the heck? What is that? <laughs> This is so cool. Now you don't want to drink that data, that's salty. It is 6.25 in the morning here at Galveston Island State Park. We're heading towards the beach for the sunrise, but it's a cloudy day, so don't know how that's going to turn out. We'll see. There are quite a few people heading towards the beach. I guess they also got up early to see the sunrise. The sun is about to come up. The glow intensifies. Very few people out here this early in the morning. Maybe around 10. That's a long, long sandy beach here. Well, I didn't know what to expect from Delta when she sees the ocean and the waves. But she seems to love it. Loves to run on the beach. Which is perfect that early in the morning. There are no people here at all. Yeah, Delta, can you believe it? We're here at the beach, sunrise. Huh? I oh, know, yeah, this looks beautiful. The sun rising over the ocean, Gulf of Mexico. Oh, even that early in the morning, the water is great. That's not bad. That is cool. <laughs> the beach is so shallow, you can go far in. Look at that, that fisherman over there. Next time I will bring the underwater case for the GoPro and then go a little bit, bit deeper into the Gulf of Mexico. <laughs> Bless you, Delta. <laughs>
a lot of seaweed here on the beach and I was a bit concerned because I read about it that there was that huge carpet of seaweed uh, drifting towards Skelton Island. I don't know if that is part of it, but on the water there's no uh, seaweed visible, so all is good. Beautiful ocean views, uh, birds flying overhead. Nothing more I can ask for. It is possible to go and visit the Bishop's Palace. I doubt that they uh, allow dogs, so we're not gonna do this. But one thing is for sure, this is a beautiful building. It of course wants to go in. No, we don't do that. Yeah, this is a survivor of the uh, storm from 1900. I saw a YouTube video about that. Well, almost all of the city of Galveston got destroyed, except for this building. Right next to the Bishop's Palace is another historical house. It's the Carl and Hilda Beale House from 1902. Another beautiful house is right next to it. Uh, this looks awesome. There's no sign, just private property. Now we don't go there, data. That's not for you. Come on. Beautiful house. Another impressive house is the Isaac and Henrietta Kempner house, which is this one. Here's another beautiful historical house. It's a residence though. Beautiful front yard with all those flowers here. Look at this. Now there's a lot of history here in Galveston, especially uh, around the time of the turn of the century. And for some reason there's a dog with no leash. Yeah. Getting all excited. I can see he has a collar, an electric collar on that's probably that invisible fence. The Catholic Church of the Sacred Heart is, is a beautiful church all in white. As usual, Delta wants to go in. No, Delta, we don't do that.
We're here at the Goblins from Seawall. And in order to park here, you have to download an app. Put in a code, put credit card info, and then you can pay. There's no other way. I did that for two hours and I paid four dollars. I believe that's reasonable. Because most other parking spots here in the Goblison area are really, really expensive. Straight ahead, Pleasure Period, also a historic place. It was also once destroyed almost completely. And there's shark attack on the other side, a 5D theater. And then you can do those duck tours here in Galveston with those old decks, those military floating vehicles. Bubblegum Shrimp. I've been there in San Francisco. Those are the lines to get in. Well, that's what I call seashells, especially this one here. Yeah, unfortunately, not uh, a lot of places here are dog friendly. I tried several to buy a t-shirt and uh, no, we got kicked out right away. I mean, for such a vacation destination, it's a little bit sad that they don't accept dogs. But well, it's the way it is, so what can I do about it? There's no chance then to buy a t-shirt. I would need to leave Delta in the car and it's over 90 degrees here. Can't do that. All right, they allow dogs. Delta, wrong way. That's the positive. The negative is they don't have food. I'm sitting here at Woody's. I almost said bar and grill, but no, they don't have a kitchen. You can only drink here. Uh, beautiful location though, uh, right by the beach. And the way it works, if you want food, they have this menu here from the Seahorse restaurant and they deliver. But it has to be, it is a $15 minimum charge for them to deliver. And then uh, it arrives here in a couple of minutes. So, uh, Yep, that's how that works. They allow dogs, Delta is right here. And uh, she's relaxing right now. There's a nice breeze going over this porch. And uh, let's see how the food is gonna be. The food just got here. It was delivered within five minutes. I mean, that was so fast. It's a turkey, ham, and bacon sandwich uh, recommendation by the waitress. And uh, a street taco brisket. Excellent. Just hits the spot. Perfect. And then the view can't beat that. Awesome experience here at Woody's. Just a bar. They don't have food. But they got a place down the road that delivers it. And man, it was good. Absolutely I recommend this place. It's fun. A very, very nice waitress. Yeah, Woody's. That's uh, a cool place. Probably will go here again. I enjoyed it. Friendly people. 
and then the views that you have from here are great.